Hi, everybody. It's Ray. It's Life and Vibe. And I've been reading my comment sections from people, and they have given me heads up that Tim has been on a roll today. In fact, we've got three long videos to get through, and we're going to make sure we speed them up to 1.25 and that we try to get through these as fast as possible. Um, I guess he's bored in the RV today. <laughs> so he's just spitting content out. Oh, and it's gold. Oh, it's absolute gold. We got three classics coming out today. We've got uh, Crushing It for Christ. This is the way to get everything you need. Hmm, that's uh, interesting. Then we've got obviously his, you know, uh, 40 minute diatribe morning chat <laughs> will be the following one. And then of course, just to round out the absolute nuggets that he's throwing out in the content world today, Tim has a uh, SS video about taking social security at 62. So he's got a trifecta of just the whole, you know, buffet for use of a better term, of the type of content that he puts out. So this is video number 15. This is day four of my watch and make commentary and respond to all of Tim's content. So yeah, let's get going because I, I just wanted to get that out of the way. And everyone knows I got to throw out my fair years if you've been watching any time and following this insane journey that I'm taking um, just because obviously, you know, Tim seems very litigious. And then um, just a disclaimer, um, that obviously this video is for entertainment purposes only, even though I am a registered and licensed RN in the United States and with uh, about a year of graduate school training to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, I am not treating or diagnosing Tim at all. This is just entertainment. So I just always want to preface that. Okay. All right. I'm going to make me small because I don't want to be the the big nose. Yes, that's why I'm running late today, guys. I had to see my doctor. <laughs> you make me big while I at least talk about this poll. I had to see my doctor today um, about, obviously, what's going on with this infection that does not want to uh, end. Uh, people ask me, you know, about my immune system. It's, it's a little bit more complicated than that sometimes. It's just kind of, it's post-surgical. It's the luck of the draw. I happen to be somebody who's worked in healthcare for a long time. So I've been exposed to probably more pathogens than most people. And uh, that could potentially be something at play. So it's just kind of, you know, part of, <laughs> of bad luck. And so, yeah, um, I'm probably going to be, it's not unusual to be on antibiotics for an extended period of time. And so I continue to be on mine and probably another course after this until I can really feel that I'm not you know, getting as bad as I did today. So anyway, yeah. And then I had a friend to go and see. So I was in the area. So I stopped on by. So yeah. But thank you for all of you who have expressed concern and have uh, wished me the best um, with me trying to heal and get better. I hope for it too. But my doctor has assured me that I can live my life. I can go to the uh, pool and be at the beach and just obviously be cautious because I can't put any sunscreen or anything there. So yeah. All right. Well, let me not keep yabbering on about my life. We've got 23 minutes of Tim crushing it for Christ. Mm. You know, I did grow up in the church, Tim. <laughs> church of England. I'm not lying. I'm baptized and confirmed and uh, did participate. Sometimes my faith wavers on occasion. And uh, maybe I don't attend church as often, but I'm fairly familiar. Um, so find it interesting when uh, people who don't even own Bibles, which I do own one, um, start crushing it for Christ. I call it cashing it with Christ um, because you're using Christ to try to cash in money. And uh, that's really awful. I don't like this type of preachy if, you know, I'm suddenly now you know, an ordained preacher. No, no. You're just a person with very little knowledge and education yabbering this morning in the RV because you're trying to escape the heat, Tim. Keep your pants on. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Sarasota Tim coming to you with my glasses on. Well, before I even begin uh, doing uh, Crushing It for Christ, I wanted to just say I've got my selfie stick in the uh, crasher, uh, crusher out there, and I can walk out there and get it, but I'm holding this 
other one. I've got three of them, but this one doesn't have any legs on it. And I did finish up the pot of coffee. Uh, respect, Sorry, I know I'm slurping right in that microphone, right? I love you. Love that. that. It says. But I want my mouth to burn. So we're going to have a little um, church, if you will, crushing it for Christ. And I wanted to tell everybody, <clears throat> um, I started doing these videos because I was sent this. Are you trying to form yourself as like some type of 403B tax status because you're out here delivering these ridiculous pontifications of yours? <laughs> And I'm not saying anything for religious, you know, I'm not questioning anybody's faith. I'm just explaining to you what mine is. So anyway, as much as I need to say, I already spoke way too much about myself at the start of this video. Anyway, um, you know, it's just everything. I just, I don't look at anything he does without thinking there's an ulterior motive behind it and trying to establish himself as a 403B and, you know, people have alluded to the fact that you potentially are running some type of cult, Tim, through your YouTube channel. And uh, this type of crushing it for Christ in the message, I, I'm, I'm curious to hear what you have to say. I heard some of it. It was terrible. Book. Oh. For during the holidays. Like along with a couple of other books uh, from uh, yes. some wonderful subscribers of mine that uh, thought they would uh, share something with me. And it was a blessing. I mean, it was only from God that I got that. And so when I started reading it, I felt compelled, as I do with everything in my life. No, it was from the people who sent it to you. <laughs> They're just sharing the message of God. It's a little different, okay? Uh, it's nothing worse than somebody who's a recovering alcoholic finding Christ. Okay, Tim? <laughs> and I'm going into the psychiatric mental health profession. And I have obviously spent time working with patients uh, who have different mental disorders i'm not saying anything about you or that but what i am saying is that this is dangerous territory tim just dangerous territory when you're talking about having a church I have to share with the community and while a lot of you may not be religious or you believe in something different or this is not the content that you actually like to watch of mine i understand completely but i just want you to know that i'm probably never going to stop making these videos because of the reason I'm going to mention. One, I am a Christian, and I don't hang my head when I say it. And I believe that we need to talk about God a lot more than they are today in our country. I mean, everybody would like to just make it go away. What are you talking about? <laughs> there are so many churches and pop-up churches and revivals, and I have no idea. Tim, we live in the South. There are so many churches, many people, even young people, openly profess to, to being Christians or having religious beliefs. So you're just stirring up your, you, you're as bad as Fox News at this moment in my mind, as far as like stirring the pot sometimes or CNN stirring the pot or whichever you feel is your political opposite stirring the pot. Because I'm not a political channel, so I'm not going to be taking sides like that. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> just, it's not the true. It's not true. I have friends of mine who attend church, and I've attended church with them. I just, I just dislike his rhetoric. I mean, I'm not a young person, okay? But I've seen lots of young people there. There's still youth ministries, Tim. Way, not everybody, but it seems like the world wants to... Uh, dismiss God. It's all about them, money, evil, sex, all these things. That sounds like you describing yourself right there, Tim. Money, I don't know about the sex, evil, if you're taking people's money, um, false pretenses. Um, there's a lot of things that you do. You say you pay it forward on these coffees, yet we've never seen any evidence of it. And so you You've just been a schmolzy salesperson and car detailer, which is going to be an important fact later on. All right, let me go. Because there's a lot of this to do today. That are secular. And with it's like a hurricane. If a hurricane comes in Florida, I don't care who you are, you're going to be affected. You are going to be, if it comes within your county, you're going to lose power. You're going to get destruction. You're going to have, a lot of flooding, 
you are going to be affected. Folks, when you walk out your door or you turn on that TV or you open your phone and you don't have it turned off of that Google stories or you choose to go on and read certain things right on your phone. I don't know anybody reads a newspaper anymore, but you can read. I read plenty of newspapers online. Thank you, Tim. Um, yeah, this is not healthy to be telling people in my opinion you are trying to moderate the type of information people that are watching you and they're watching you tim so maybe that they need to switch you off hey <laughs> if, if somebody wants to sit at home and watch their, their fox news or cnn or whatever they prefer let them it's their choice it's a retirement how about that different things and you begin your day filling your mind with all the garbage, with all the drama, with all the hate, with all the racism, with all the sex, uh, and you begin your day like that. Just think how many do. Look at the trolls out there. They wake up. I don't even think they go to bed. They get notified in the middle of the night and uh, you know just get up and check if there's something they can hate on. <laughs> but if you um, start your day, or you spend- I don't think this is a religious message for uh, Tim's audience. I think it's just another chance for him to get all angry at the uh, reaction channels. <laughs> Tom Exage, myself, Blind Views, I know is going live tonight. Uh, LOL Olive Oil had something really good out. Darling put out something really good too. Both. Uh, there was one about cults and obviously the one about how much money he gets. And he is not enjoying it. And uh, it's this is the way the reaction channels start to show and highlight problematic YouTubers at, are misusing the platform and potentially um, trying to get people to send the money, basically. I mean, I know I ask for my coffee donations too, but that's because if you enjoy the content and you enjoy me exposing people like Tim, it helps me obviously run my channel, I will be honest. <laughs> but uh, Tim is, you know, not trying to produce any type of content. I mean, he's doing everything as inexpensively as possible. So we're going to get three videos inside of an RV. And Tim is just going to espouse his thoughts. <sighs> you can't tell people, especially older people, what to do, Tim. You should know better. <laughs> End your day doing something so hideous like that. <laughs> and I'm going to move this and I can put my arm here. Because we're taking your views. Pull my camera up. Let me turn this if I get a little bit longer out there. All right, Baker. There you go. Now. That's a terrible angle. There we go. <laughs> Can I go a little further? Get proper We're equipment. Going further? All that money or I don't no, think so. Christ is the healer. Might be all done. <sighs> that one. That one. Seems like there's one He's more. He's the person that you walk away like from at the one. party. <clears throat> really, Tim? This is your content? I'm back. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Um, this is not my best. It should be. If you start your day like that, you're doing the wrong thing. Don't do it. <laughs> Try, you know. How many people don't go to the gym? How many people don't eat right? How many people are making the same mistakes habitually over and over? How many people are doing it unintentionally just by pure <laughs> natural? You get up in the morning, first thing you do, turn on the news. You get up in the morning, uh, you go to work, and you want to continue the gossip with the gossipers. You know, at your prison job. Oh, goodness. Oh, he is so bad about the prison jobs today. His jealousy of anybody having succeeded in their lives in their prison jobs is just palpable that's a hard word for me palpable <laughs> you can feel it he is so i don't understand i don't know if it's because he what i mean this is a man who barely worked he he admits openly in his videos that he worked a couple hours a day a couple of days a week with the coupons going door to door he is on his ex-spouse's social security because he didn't earn enough in his lifetime. And her, him being even the ex-spouse, the benefit to him is larger through her than through his income. So he's going from hers. And I, when we talk about the SS, I'm going to bring up some of these interesting ex-divorce spouse facts since the... It is understood that Tim is basing it from the spouse or benefit of the ex-wife. Because Tim never made enough money. So he really likes to 
put down people who work at different places. Not everybody is doing like the same job at the same company for 40 years, Tim. Those days definitely have changed in the corporate world. Most of us are very mobile in our work. We work different hours. You may often see healthcare professionals out in the week having breakfast somewhere. You know, those terrible travel nurses that you talk about on a Wednesday. The reason being is they've done three trials and they got four days off. Or it depends. If it's nights, it's a little bit different. But yeah, anyway, it's just, I, I can't. He's going to keep going on about it. I just need to get it out now. <laughs> Uh, keep going, Tim, because it's terrible. It's so bad. You, you get out in traffic and you uh, want to argue with everybody that can't, you think it's your highway. You can, They can't move fast enough for you. <laughs> so he blows his horn at him? You don't leave early enough to give yourself time <laughs> so you can drive relaxed and let everybody else that's in a hurry go around. You don't plan. You don't get up and feed your mind. You don't get up and thank God that you're above ground and for what he's going to do for you today. And no. How do you know this? You're making some awfully big assumptions about your subscribers waking up and what they do in the morning. Where are you getting this stuff from? I'm sure they're waking up far happier than you are because this crushing it for Christ is miserable this morning. He absolutely has a plan. And if you're attentive and you seek him first, you're going to get a blessing. But if you don't, he's like, oh, that poor child of mine, he loves you so much. He just sits there and just shakes his head like, there goes another day. They didn't get to, I got all this right here. I got all this behind this, this window here. If you'll just open it up, if she'll just open that window up, all this blessing will come out. And what do they got to do? They don't have to buy somebody coffee behind them in McDonald's. They don't have to uh, do a favor. They don't have to give money. To uh, we need receipts for that. We have not once actually seen you in action doing that or anybody coming on afterwards and saying thank you. You know? Just because you would definitely make content. So I think this is BS, I, just in my opinion. And I, I know that's not a medical use of a language at this time. I'm not licensed yet to do that. So I can be more of a nurse, a little bit more salty. To a church, they don't have to send money to a, a YouTuber for a buy me a coffee. They don't have to use their link. They don't have to do anything. You know what they got to do to get all of that? Uh, so that you can do those other things? Is you got to first... Start thinking of him. Talk to him. You got to love him. You got to talk to him in your mind or under your breath when nobody else can. I, I forget that Tim has his Amazon affiliate links to things that he shows. You know, he's he's making sure he's. I, I don't know how much he gets from that. I don't know how many people are buying through his affiliate links. <laughs> hear you and tell him how much you love him and how much you appreciate that he's keeping you safe and healthy and what he's doing for your family. And you can ask also petition him and ask him for things that you're having issues with in your life than chasing your own tail. Why worry about it all day, every day? Another day of worrying about your child, another day of worrying about your relationship, another day of worrying about your job, mm. your car, your finances, your bills, your <laughs> debt. Another day that he shakes his head and says, uh, So what's the magic answer, Tim? <laughs> Social security at 62? Oh my goodness. You are being very unhappy today. You're taking it out on your audience, and they are not there for your trauma dumping. You're sad fishing trauma dumping. Please stop. He's not an intruder. He does not impose. He is not going to come. He's right outside that door. He's right behind that window, just waiting. He's not going to knock on it. He's not going to open it. He's not going to grab you by your shirt collar and shake you and say, here I am. Do the right thing. He gives you a choice, but he sits there. Forever, now, however long it takes that you'll have on this life, on this earth, which is very, very little. And he waits. Uh, uh, wow. I, I mean, I've understood that he potentially is losing his eyesight with glaucoma. And had he been seeing a doctor or seeing an optician earlier just for good eye health checks, you should be, even if you don't think you're having eye problems at 40. I know it gets expensive. It's time out of work. That's the one thing that does make it very hard here in the United States is that you are expected to use your vacation time for all other days off that you want. And the other days are going to be national holidays when things are not open. And you get often very little. It's often based on if you're an hourly worker, based on 
how many hours you work, your tenure with the company. And there's so many factors involved. And people are so sometimes, um, you know, not wanting to take time out that they'll just stockpile this, you know, what they call PTO, pay time off. And it is hard to think that you have used up your time off or like I had to with doctor's appointments recently or, you know, surgeries and just a variety of things. Not currently at this moment because I'm obviously headed back to grad school. I'm only going to be starting to work part time. But <sighs> in respect to, you know, you've got this, it's, it's hard to want to sacrifice that bit of time off to go see a doctor. But he had plenty of time to go address this glaucoma because he only worked a few hours a day, a couple of days a week. But he was out on the golf course, supposedly. Oh, Tim, you're very miserable today. You're taking it out on all of us. All right, let me go because I'm being too slow. I'm, I have too much commentary. And and I've got a lot to get for to. you to come around, to repent, to change from your ways, to give up on your strength and to seek him first before you turn the TV, before you eat, drink, do anything. You seek him and you ask him, and you petition him, and you thank him for all your needs. You ask for things, you thank him for what you have, and you tell him you love him, and you want a relationship deeper. You want him to open your mind, and you want to go into his word. You got to get yourself a Bible. You don't have one? Open your phone, download the app. It's free of charge. Any version you want that's easy to read, read the Psalms. That's a very comforting book in the Bible. Read the first four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John of the New Testament. And listen to the, read those red, red print words of Jesus when he talked. Do you attend any churches in the area? Get to know other people who are, you know, Christian? I mean, are you that into it? Or are you just like, you know, sitting here like, just, they found God and now we get to hear about it. <laughs> That's everybody's favorite friend running from you at the party. Read the rules. Read the encouragement. Read how much he's done. How he's healed the uh, the sick, the lepers, and let the blind see, and all these things. But what am I saying? You seek him. I do believe Jesus was a real man. I do believe there was somebody by the name of Jesus that occurred in history. That part I do not doubt, actually. And so one thing I do think is true. Whether he was, you know, <laughs> everything else, because nowadays he'd be locked in a, probably a, some type of penitentiary or asylum. It, or by just roaming the streets because we don't really have a lot of mental health care, unfortunately. First. <laughs> first make your bed. <laughs> just kidding. You can wake up and be thinking on God already. You can lay there with your eyes open up and say a prayer while your head's on the pillow. You can be saying that prayer and talking to him while you're making that bed, while you're making that delicious coffee. And you don't put on any distraction. You don't put on radios, TVs, nothing until you've had your time with your Father in heaven. The person is going to protect you when you walk out that door, when you get in that automobile, when you get on that motorcycle, when your children leave. You're I don't know. You're putting a lot on Jesus and God today. <laughs> I've understood it differently being more um, part of the Episcopal um, and Church of England, that the, 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 the God isn't directing every aspect of your day like that. <laughs> You know, it's about your relationship and a deeper understanding of that uh, rather than them interfering, if you may, uh, for lack of a better word, um, in your day to day business. That's really not what I have been taught through my religion. That's why I just this type is always very um, just it's very uh, reminiscent of like prosperity gospel, that type of thing, which I think is often very problematic family that's not even around you when they leave you in ask for protection for them and health and healing you've got to get close to god folks if you want your life to change yesterday we talked about positive and the reason i say that is because there's a lot of people who may not have very much who are giving these seeds to these prosperity ministers and many have turned out to be terrible charlatans and frauds and so that is why i have uh, suspicions around the prosperity gospel and, and, and churches involving themselves. And he's kind of giving me that vibe. He's, he sounds like he's like Joel Osteen's like uncle from Alabama. Positivity and keeping your thoughts right. Well, how do we do it? We eschew all the things. You got a brain. You know it's not good to listen to that. You know it's not good to read those things. 
Do you know it's not good to watch those other YouTube channels? <laughs> what benefit is that doing for you? What is it doing? Are you wanting that? Are you trying to fill your mind? Do you find that entertaining? Are you, are you talking about reaction channels? Are you talking about news channels? Which channels are you talking about? You're, are they only allowed to watch you? Uh, what, what, what are, you, what are your, your subs supposed to watch, Tim? <laughs> I'm confused now. Well, look at all the blessings that are behind the window here you're missing because you're choosing that. You're, you're getting what you want. Yesterday. You're getting what you want. You get everything that you want. You want to go down that road? That's what you're going to get. I choose to open my window. I choose to seek him first. And my life is full of blessings. Do I have issues and troubles and trials? Of course. But I can get through them because I know him. Now let's begin. All right? That was my little thing. And it's something I'm laid on my heart to tell you about that. I hope it, it can encourage like some of you. having either. a little bit of a rage moment, Tim. I, I mean, <laughs> generally when I would go to church, I would want my pastors to be a little bit more uplifting and, and you know, bring joy. That's what I enjoyed so much about the church that I attended. Um, is that, you know, a lot of times it was very joyful. This is not joyful. All right. I hope it gets better. I'm not enjoying this at all. And I've, I've sat through a lot of church, Tim. <laughs> Sitting on the fence there. To, you know, you hear me over and over and over say, don't watch the news. Don't watch these other YouTube channels. Don't read certain things. Don't act wow. certain ways. Be kind. Ugh. Treat people like you're meeting yourself. Oh, like my you. God. You are just a mind. You're a control freak. <laughs> you're a control freak. How dare you tell grown adults what they can and cannot see? And what they can and cannot choose to watch. And what they can and cannot do. You've no right to do that, Tim. This is really not a great message. <laughs> to me, this is very problematic for somebody, you know, because I can see how people, uh, I would hate for people to fall for this in some ways from somebody such as Tim. I want to be treated. Today's June 6th. He's very angry. Of 2024. And today's devotional in the opinion. book that I've got here called Jesus Calling says, oh my gosh, the first one. I haven't read it yet. Mm. Seek my face and you will find fulfillment. Why does it su not surprise me that you've not read what you're choosing to read now? Because when a pastor is leading his flock, he would have read and studied and prepared based on the reading. And they do a lot of work, which, you know, obviously the parishioners don't see, but actually writing their sermons. You just like to talk. You don't even read ahead of time. It's like me and these reactions. I could only, I watched a little bit of these, but oh, I can't watch them all. Just caught snippets when I was driving around town. And your deepest longings. Folks, did, now, now did God tell me to tell you what I said? That's the first thing I said. Seek my face and you will find fulfillment in your deepest longings. My world is filled with beautiful things. They are meant to be pointers to me remembers reminders 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 of my abiding presence the earth still declares my glory to those who have eyes that see and ears to hear you had a darkened mind before you sought me wholeheartedly i chose to pour my light into you so that you can be a be a beacon to others there's them the kids at the uh, church you know they practice before they come out and read their stuff so they sound good in the church you know they probably worked hard before they go out and do the readings. You could have read through it once, maybe familiarized yourself with the text. So just swear, 23 minutes of Tim Yabber. <laughs> Cashing it with Christ. There's no room for pride in this position. Your part is to reflect my glory. I am the Lord. That second paragraph said, with my fourth grade uh, reading level, you had a darkened heart before you sought me wholeheartedly. I chose to pour He's my light it, me. into you so that you can be a beacon to others. There is no room for pride in this position. Your part is to reflect my glory. I am the Lord. And then the verses of the Bible that the author comes up with this is the first one is a psalm, uh, which I told you to read. Psalm 105.4. And it says, told? look to the Lord and his strength. Told people to read or suggested it could be something they could enjoy. Telling people what to do. Tim, you're only 10 years older than me. Stop telling me. I certainly wouldn't be told by you what to do. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You are very uh, controlling, in my opinion. Very interesting to see told. 
you don't get to tell grown adults who have taken the time to watch your content what they can and cannot do. I can't preface that Seek enough. his face always. Folks, I did not read this before. I talked about what I said this morning. Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. Always. The next one is another psalm. Funny, I said read psalms. Psalm 19, 1 and 2. <laughs> the heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after it is coincidental that you happen to mention Psalms and you are reading those particular passages from that book in the Bible. It's just why don't you prepare ahead of time? You know, just a little bit of thought. This is this point sheet you don't have, you know, it's just it shows how lazy your content is, I guess. After day, they pour well, forth speech. <laughs> night after night, they display knowledge. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. The day, the day after day, they pour forth speech. Night after night, they display knowledge. And the next one, and the last one is from Isaiah, the Old Testament, chapter 6, verse 2. It says, see darkness. See Are you going to do any type of interpretation afterwards? Okay. I guess you're just reading from the book. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the peoples. But the Lord rises above, rises upon you, and his glory appears over you. Let me read that one again. Mess it up. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the peoples. But the Lord rises upon you, and his glory appears over you. I'm familiar so, with that one. I am familiar with that one. Well, in the, uh, the video... But I just, because I, I talked quite a bit before I read, and I don't need to say anymore. I just want to encourage everybody that we, we acknowledge God today. I hope that these words <laughs> reach someone's heart. I have to laugh at this one. point because he says he's going to round up the video, but then he talks for another eight minutes. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, laugh like that. It happens to all of us, I promise you. So I try to end my stuff quick. Because I, you could just start yammering, blah blah. It's just good to get it over. They decided to <laughs> uh, change their life and to seek Him first. And you can't seek Him with a a sinful life. You can't expect that window to get opened up and all these <laughs> blessings come in uh, free of charge. You know, without uh, doing what He commands us to do, and that's to love others uh, like we love ourselves, like we love the church, like we love God. You know, um, treat it didn't seem well. Does that mean if you get your leg all busted up on the side of a crusher that uh, you we can just laugh and not show you any sympathy? <laughs> you know, you do some real like your actual way you interact with people that you're not aware of, Tim, says more about how you perceive other people around you and how you care to treat them. I think you're just not aware of that. But I'm watching you. So I'm watching so much of your content. I'm getting a better sense of who you are. And I, I'm not fond of it. <laughs> the other people like you want to be treated. And um, if you have a bad habit, uh, the way you talk, the way you're acting, uh, maybe drugs, maybe alcohol, that's debauchery that you're doing way <laughs> too much of uh, to become altered and not of sober mind. And you Aren't you a man who was sleeping with a married woman? Allegedly, I understand Miss Tammy was still married when you and she were cavorting around as, as you and her. <laughs> I mean, is it okay for you and not the other? Is it one of those cases? It doesn't, you know, anyway, he's going to keep going on. Let's go. You become, you know, illegal to drive. You become obvious when you're around other people that you're a, an intoxicated individual. Uh, that maybe the person you're living with doesn't tell you anything because they do care about you. They've been with you for years, but now you're acting like you're drinking picked up or something or these drugs that you're doing or the marijuana you're smoking. <laughs> and they don't want to say anything to you to offend you uh, or create problems, but they're looking at you with less than what they used to look at you when they first met you. And <laughs> you don't have the respect that you once had. You actually have less respect. You know, um, let's say you're, and I got to put this in there because I just hope one day that it might change the hearts. I talk sometimes to people that want to talk to me about my YouTube channel Ugh, and about these. Gosh, 
the, the terrible advice you give, telling people not to go see doctors is awful advice. As much as people don't like to see doctors, I, I had to be at the doctors today. It's sometimes things happen. If you maybe had seen an ophthalmologist earlier, you wouldn't be having issues with your eyes. If you had been taking like eye checks, they say you should start at 40. Younger if you have type 2 diabetes or diabetes, type 1. So I feel that you, you know, you're, you're projecting you onto others. These people that are living and dying by the moment of every single word I say and every video I make to extract everything they can and twist it and lie and hate. And it's beyond my understanding what it is as to why Tim Baker is their target. I am one simple man out here in this country. In this Because you're a scam artist, allegedly. And you've taken hundreds of dollars um, from your subs for buy me a coffee. You have given terrible advice, which you will do again today for Social Security, that literally brought Dr. Ed Weir out of retirement in order to combat the nonsense that you speak. Do you have, you know, I've understood all sorts of things that I don't know because it's alleged that you return items of clothing dirty back to the places that you bought them. So you may be telling your subscribers, oh, look, I bought this golf shirt. It cost me, you know, I bought this $100 golf shirt that you sent me the money for. Look, look, look. And then supposedly you return it back dirty and then you'll get the money. I, I mean, that's something that's been alleged. So your behaviors and how you try to use a platform to scam money potentially out of people, in my mind, is why we talk about you. So get used to it, Tim, because now you're on our radar. So I'm watching you a little bit closer. Yeah, we listen to your every word. Get used to it. That's what reaction channels are for. It's and you kept, you hit it when you went naked. Keep your pants on. Tries to do uh, the best I can every day. When you flashed your naked self on that refrigerator and took hours to take it down, Tim, that was when it became, uh, you became a problem, a real problem. You're very entitled. And so you're just going to have to get ready. I still think you were problematic back in the day. I kind of let it go. But I then had my own reaction channel and I had the opportunity to start reacting to you and I took it because you're an interesting character to study for me. I'm in, invoking positivity in my channel no, you're and not. sharing, you know, reviews and, um, you know, positive stuff, right? Just showing my life. And that's... No, you complain. You complain about prices. You dry bag and you, um, you know, uh, covet other people's homes. And then you try to sell your message. So, no, I don't think it's that simple. <laughs> You've actually given some people really bad advice and... People have, and I'm not even saying their names, but I have heard from people where having listened to you or even potentially listening to you, it, it, it was not a good decision. That's what Allegedly. it's about. It's not about politics. It's not about division. It's not talking about hate this group, hate that group, hate people that are legal, illegal, hate genders, hate choices that people make. I'm not talking about anything controversial. I have a channel that I think is pretty much just me. Yes, and yet, unfortunately. Yeah, that's the problem, Tim. It is just you. And you just come out here and talk about subjects you have no knowledge or understanding of. And then other poor people, you know, who fall into your charisma, your personal cult of personality, will then, you know, think this is fact. There was some, some people, like, actually have got into financial trouble having followed your advice about your early retirement. There are so many things that you did just because it it fit it for you, mate. But to force it onto people and the way you talk about prison jobs, that's another reason why I find your channel absolutely despicable, to be honest. To, to degrade hardworking people because you're envious and jealous of what they have achieved. And it shows constantly through your content. And that's why, Tim, we highlight you. People. Well done, mate that are doing what they're doing and they are growing because um 
the people that I talked about this morning early that just want to turn on their TV and listen to CNN and Fox and get their fill of absolute filth, negativity, hatefulness, and fill their mind and fill their heart with that. Even if, even if you do not, and you like me, for example, and you, you're not going to be influenced, you say, you just are curious. Why? Why? It's If you've seen it once, you've seen the same thing they're going to put out every video. Every single one is the same thing. Tim bad, me good. Hate Tim, love me. <laughs> hate, 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 hate. I don't think anybody's ever said that. <laughs> That's your mind. Game protecting, Tim. Hate. And so you sit there day after day versus the person that sits there and reads their Bible versus the person that <laughs> turns Bible, that news off versus book. the person that makes their bed. Oh, don't even. Gosh, that's the standard we're at. Somebody makes a bed. It's a devotional book. You don't own a Bible. And I actually do. First thing in the morning versus the person that cleans their, keeps her house clean, keeps her house clean in here. Their mind is not a garbage can. They make an effort every day to smile, oh, buy somebody that, a coffee that, or a sandwich. Good. And then they, their window is not closed. Their window is open, open. And all these blessings just keep coming into them because they choose. And God's up there smiling, saying, told you. And you're doing the right thing. And keep on doing what you're doing. And I'll keep on because i got an infinite, an infinite amount of blessings for you. In fact, there's so many that are in reserve back here that you didn't get because you weren't doing the right thing for all these years, all these weeks, all these months, all oh, these wow. hours, all this time. Mm. A day That's lots of threats you're giving people. But they're not going to get their blessings. It looks like that you went around that golf course and saw a lot of people who blessed themselves with a with a good life. And your envy and your jealousy is just so apparent. And I'm sorry, we're gonna react to you. This this is nonsense that you come out here and put this diatribe out. It's just <laughs> verbal verbalness. Hey, you waste where you don't thank him and pray to him, you miss a blessing. The minute you're watching one of those channels, the minute you're watching. I'm referring to CNN, Fox, or YouTube channels. It doesn't matter. Any, well, yes. Yeah, because you got to include the YouTube because it's it's me, you know. How do you, you don't know my relationship with God? <laughs> How dare you make any type of assumption there? You are very assumpting, assuming, sorry, as a person. You assume a lot of things. Gosh. Oh, he's mad. I think it's just we've really got him going at the moment. I know Blind Views is like, oh, I need to back off. But we're getting under his skin because I, I, hey, I come from a reaction community. Uh, and so I kind of know how it goes with these guys. <laughs> you can't play into the reaction channels, Tim. These For housewives, I love whatever. It. The minute you turn that on, you, you devote that 30 minutes, that five minutes to that is a blessing you're missing. <laughs> it, is a, it is absolutely a blessing that it was being made that was going to come your way. It may not happen instantly during that moment you were watching that negativity. It was a, it was a being brewed up. It was being. So if I understand this correctly, if I dare to watch the morning news, then I just missed a blessing. Oh shit. I need to make sure I don't do that. Then. Put together. And a big smile was on his face because you were sitting there thinking on him. And he's like, that's my good child. That's my good daughter. That's my good son. And he just creates this way that he can only do because he's a God. And he just throws it on you into your heart into your life and it's just like magic dust comes out through the window fills you and you go i recognize it because you've got a relationship going with him and you know it was from him it wasn't coincidental like some people that get blessings and they think it was what they did they don't give any credit to god but you get you you get it you see it because you speak to him and you know him all i know is you're losing subs tim because i took a look at your analytics yesterday <laughs> So keep talking this nonsense. And like yesterday, and I'll end the video. No, you're not. I didn't know what to do. I was going to leave here. I was trying to get out of the heat. God put me in my truck. He said, Tim, just go 30 minutes. I got, I got you. I got you, man. You don't have to leave here and all the other things that you love. Miss T's not here yet. Just, just hang on. Yeah, it's going to be hot. That's the way it is here. I bring heat here. I put it hot here every year, June, July, and August. But look, just go up the road. You got a golf course over there and you'll love it. And it's going to be a good price. And it's only 40 minutes. Just get in your truck. Don't burn a bunch of gas and hook up this camper and drive to Utah and start over and be away from everything that you're loving here. I'm not done with you yet. I, you got content to make here. Uh, 
what content? You've, you've shown us the river walk and the parking lots and the casinos. I don't know what content. Nobody wants the golf. <laughs> Still going. You get more oh, joy. Day. You love it? I'm going to make you love it. I put you here. All this stuff in Bullhead City that you say you love. And I do. And I thought, man, I got to leave here because it's hot. And I still might. But, I mean, for right now, I'm going to go play golf today up in Kingman. And it's going to be a little warmer, a couple degrees than yesterday. But God's like, you don't want to play in 116, you know? He's got your back, folks. Does that mean we get another Kingman video today from the golf course where Tim covets people's houses? Oh, great. I hope they're all two minutes long like last time. God is the way to live your life. We need more of it in this country. Repent from your ways. Change from your ways. If you live with someone, you can't be unevenly yoked. They, you both got to be like, you can't live in the same house. I mean, I'm not saying you divorce or leave them. I'm just saying you, you got to get both on the same track. You know, let them see you by your fruit. Folks, <laughs> crush it. Oh, thank you. I'm going to stop sharing. Okay. You know, now I get something coming up about Fox because he talked about that. Okay. <laughs> wow. Timmy is angry with the reaction channels. All right, guys, I'm going to get this finished out so that I can get to the next one. All right. If you did like this type of content, Thank you so much for getting me over 3,000 subs. So maybe it's close to 300,000. Who heck knows anymore? Um, but make sure you have subscribed. I do appreciate it. And it helps my videos get up the algorithm and irritate to me even more. And as always, I love to thank my channel members. I know they are concerned that I have delved into the world of Tim. But I have promised them I will return back to Foodie Beauty very soon. I just put on a video, but uh, they miss me reacting to her. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.